Hello, this is Salvatore Vinciguerra, and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you the Rosalind Carter Butterfly Trail. I came across the Rosalind Carter Butterfly Trail when visiting the Jimmy Carter National Historic Site in Plains, Georgia. The Rosalind Carter Butterfly Trail is a program inspired by former First Lady Rosalind Carter to help increase habitat for monarch butterflies. The program is based in Plains, Georgia and has expanded throughout the United States as well as internationally. These beautiful gardens got started because former First Lady Rosalind Carter learned of the struggling monarch butterfly population and threatened migration from North America to Mexico. She called on her neighbor and friend Annette Wise for advice on planting the right native plants in her garden. When her friends and neighbors in Plains, Georgia learned what she was doing, they wanted to provide habitats in their gardens to help pollinators. Eventually a trail started, or butterfly gardens, one house at a time, one church at a time, one library, one state, and so on. These pictures and video were taken from Jimmy Carter's boyhood home, which is located in Plains, Georgia, and Rosalind Carter has one of her butterfly gardens there. You can also see from this garden in these photographs what you're going to need for your butterfly garden. You need nectar plants that are colorful, scented plants that will attract butterflies to your garden. The butterflies will feed off of the sweet nectar from the flowers. The monarch butterflies can spend their entire life cycle on a milkweed plant, and that's why that particular plant is essential to having it in your butterfly garden. Otherwise, the life cycle for the butterfly ends. All pollinators benefit from nectar and host plants. There are also different kinds of butterfly gardens. There are ground butterfly gardens and there are also container butterfly gardens. Container gardens are gardens in large flower pots, hanging baskets, and other items which provide a habitat for the full life cycle of the butterflies in a small space. In-ground gardens are usually in your backyard and consist of paths and walkways and a lot of creativity, even puddling sites because butterflies need water shelter from predators, and a lot of host plants and nectar plants. I've put the link for Rosalind Carter's Butterfly Trail in the description box below so that you can get all of the information that you need. You know, once a year she does and hosts an annual spring symposium in Plains, Georgia to educate the general public on what butterflies need to survive and how to plant butterfly-friendly gardens. If you're thinking of building a monarch butterfly garden for your church, school, or even on your private residence, you may want to check out her website. If you would like to join the Rosalind Carter Butterfly Trail, it's absolutely free. All you have to do is register your garden on the website. And registering your monarch butterfly garden will help improve how her organization and others monitor all of the collective efforts to improve the migration route of the monarch butterflies. This is Salvatore Vinciguerra. Thank you for watching this video on Rosalind Carter's Butterfly Trail. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to this channel, and have a great day. Thank you.